So let's back up a little bit. Um, right. How did you get into porn? How did this whole journey start for you? Pretty much the way that it did for most girls back in the 80s. Um, I was a troubleshooter for a company called Musicland, and I had nine stores that I had to constantly keep in the black and out of the red and, you know, a lot of work, and I'm working 70 hours a week. I'm making two grand a month. I live in a shit apartment, and I'm just, you know, I, I, I'm not enjoying California because mm-hmm. I'm just working all the time and I have no money. So I answered an ad in the Orange County Register. Uh, I think it was the Reg- Orange County, whatever the Orange County paper was. And the ad read, figure models wanted 500 to $5,000 per day. And I'm five foot fun, which is pretty much five foot, five foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, really, you know, I, I used to be, I, I used to say five three, but, but you know what? The doctor keeps telling me I'm like just a little over five foot. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> now I, I keep doing that because I've got a million thoughts that we're, I'm answering. So back, we're backing up to... Yes, you answered an ad in the Orange County I Register. I answered an ad in the Orange County Register, and I drove up not feeling like I was, you know, supermodel at, mm-hmm. at my height, but I knew that I had a good body and I was proportionate and I was comfortable with my body. Mm-hmm. I had no trouble with nudity whatsoever. Mm-hmm. I've always been open sexually, always been... I've just been open always. You know, mm-hmm. I, I say it like I feel it, like I like like it is to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I went into Jim South's office, and there was a photographer in there by the name of Stephen Hicks. Mm-hmm. And Stephen said, I want to shoot you for Penthouse. I'm going to uh, Mexico for two weeks. I'll shoot you when I get back. And I'm like, yay, that's the $5,000 gig, yay, yay, yay. <laughs> So, I, but I still say he leaves, and and yeah. back in those days, you kind of hung out in your agent's office because people would come in. They took Polaroid. You yeah. looked at the books of all the people in the wicker chair from. The- yeah. So quickly, I just want to tell people who Jim South is because I'm actually interviewing him next week. Oh, he's wonderful. Yeah, I love I'm him. so excited. So Jim South was the. OG porn agent. There's a bunch of porn agencies now, but back in the day, there was like, I think one other two. guy. Yeah, there was who Jim was like, and Reb. Right, right. He was like, not, Jim was the guy, like world modeling. And he, and because back then digital didn't exist, he took Polaroids of models. So if you wanted to see a new girl, you had to go into his office and he had books filled with Polaroids that you'd have to flip through and look exactly. at the new girls. So that's where Ginger was. So back to your story. So I'm, I'm in there and I see the girls on the wall <clears> and I'm like, Fuck! I want to be a wall girl. Yeah, you know, there's Shauna Grant up there, and Seika's up there, and and I don't even know that they're porn stars. I mm-hmm. at this point in my head, they're just models, and I'm like, I want to be up there on the wall. Yeah. So uh, I stay in Jim's office for a few hours, and um, another photographer comes in by the name of Suze Randall. Who could that be? I don't. I've never heard that name before. <laughs> She's fabulous. I love her. So Suze comes in and she says, I want to shoot you for Penthouse. And I said, I can't. I already agreed to shoot for Stephen Hicks. And I can just imagine my and, mom's reaction because she's so competitive. She was just like, no, no, dar- no, darling, you're shooting for me. We're shooting tomorrow. We're shooting in two days or whatever it was. The best thing that any model can do to get her, my mom to shoot them is to say, number one, I ride horses, or number two, I'm shooting for Earl Miller or Stephen Hicks next week, <laughs> and you are booked like that. I mean, legit. It worked every time. It, it was w- quite funny. Oh, and she was just so <laughs> wonderful. It was just, there was a comfortable, comfortability, is that a word? It was just, it was just uh, your your mom's a woman. I'm a woman, and she made me feel beautiful. She made me feel special. She made me feel uh, just just like a model, like mm-hmm. like a pretty girl. And yeah. so, I the first shoot that I ever did was with your mother. Oh wow! And it was shot as a centerfold for Penthouse. Mm-hmm. And what happened is three months later, we'll fast forward. Jim has been constantly asking me to do commercial, which means to do sex on camera, and I am way against it. Is that what he called it? Uh, commercial. Really? He called it commercial. Yeah. Uh-huh. Com- I've- you do commercial work, commercial sex scenes. It's ah, just, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I like the lingo. I hadn't heard that before. Oh, I, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That was what it was called. And okay. I had this stereotype image, which is fucked up, but I did. I, I thought that the girls in, in the industry were drug addicts. They were hookers. They were lowlifes. They were just people who couldn't do anything else except fuck for money. Right. And 
I can do a lot of things. I don't have to fuck for money. And, I, right. and so I had this image until I met a, a, a woman in his office. Uh, I always forget her name. She has red hair. Anyway, she was beautiful, articulate, intelligent, reading a script out loud, took her to lunch, drilled her. She gave me the rules. I went, went back into Jim's office and I said, okay, I'll do porn, but I want cast approval. <laughs> <laughs> I want script approval. <laughs> I want a thousand dollars per scene, and I want to Which be. Which I at- assume was a lot back then. Oh, that was what the stars got. Yeah, yeah that was that. That's what Jekyll and Lorian's. That was yeah. who the girl was. Um, so script approval, cast approval, a thousand dollars per scene for just a basic boy girl or girl girl, mm-hmm. and then you know up to like five grand for anal, and mm-hmm. you know I just had my different my different things. So I told him that I wanted all of these things, and he's on the floor hysterically laughing. He's like, you are never going to get that. That She's a, she's a, a porn star. Yeah. No one is going to bank on you and, and, and give you what you're asking for. And I said, that's okay then. I won't do it. And I was fine with that. I, I still have my, my day or day, line, day runners from back in the day. Mm-hmm. I've kept a calendar for every year since 1983. Wow. So I, I worked like 28 days out of each month for wow. the first three months. Wow. Just doing magazine work. Just doing magazine work. Yeah. Back then you could do that. Yeah. It's so crazy. It's com- impossible to do that now. That's, that's all I did. Yeah. And, and I could have continued to do that. They, you know, there were, I, and I did for years. Mm-hmm. Uh, but a couple of weeks after I told Jim I would do it and he laughed at me and I said, that's okay. <laughs> um, there was a woman and her husband. Do you remember? You, you wouldn't remember. There used to be a show called The Gong Show. Mm-hmm. And there was a man, Chuck Barris, that ran it. And there was this, he would have people come on, contestants that would do silly things. And if they were really bad, this big, tall, beautiful, lanky blonde would hit a gong and you'd be gonged off the show. Mm-hmm. Well, this woman is Svetlana Marsh. Her husband is David Marsh. They have a quarter of a million dollar budget. They want to make their first film. They want to shoot two films on the island of Kauai with only girls that have never been seen on film before. Oh, wow. They agree to all my terms. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.